Namaste dear children, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT class 7 science chapter 2 exploring substances acidic, basic and neutral short answer questions and answers. How should lime water be prepared for experiment? Lime water should be prepared by mixing lime or calcium oxide in water and allowing it to sit undisturbed for about an hour. After this time, the liquid should be filtered into a separate container for use. Children, I have already done chapter explanation in the previous videos. Those who have not watched, please go through it. Next one, what is litmus and how is it used in scientific test? Litmus is a natural substance obtained from lichens that acts as an acid base indicator. It is available as a solution or in paper strips, blue or red, used to identify whether a substance is acidic or basic. So, litmus is a natural substance obtained from lichens. It can be used as an acid base indicator. It is available as a solution and also it is available in paper strips, blue and red color paper strips. How can you tell if a substance is acidic using litmus paper? A substance is considered acidic if it causes blue litmus paper to change its color to red. Acidic substances do not affect the color of red litmus paper. So acidic substances will turn blue litmus paper to red. Acidic substances do not affect the color of red litmus paper. Next one, how can you determine if a substance is basic using litmus paper? A substance is identified as basic if it turns red litmus paper blue. Basic substances do not cause any color change in blue litmus paper. So, basic substances will turn red litmus paper blue. They do not cause any color change in blue litmus paper. What are lichens? Lichens are organisms formed by the close association of two different living organisms, a fungus and an algae. They are typically found growing on rocks and trees, thriving in environments with the abundant rainfall and clean air. So, lichens are living organisms. They are formed by Association of two different living organisms, a fungus and an algae. They are found on rocks and trees, then in environments with the abundant rainfall and clean air. Next one, name two acidic and two basic substances. Acidic substances, lemon juice, vinegar, then Basic substances, soap solution, baking soda solution. What is the nature of substances that do not change the color of litmus paper? And why are they called that? Substances that do not change the color of either blue or red litmus paper are called neutral substances. They are termed neutral because they possess Properties that are neither acidic nor basic. So, these neutral substances are neither acidic nor basic. Can you say some examples? Tap water, sugar solution, salt solution. These are examples of neutral substances. Then, what is the common taste characteristics of acidic substances? Acidic substances such as lemon juice and vinegar generally taste sour. 
the sour taste is an indicator that they tend to contain acids and are acidic in nature so acidic substances are usually sour in taste one physical characteristic is generally observed when touching basic substances like baking soda solution when you touch basic substances like baking soda solution what you will feel when basic substances like baking soda solution are rubbed between the fingers they generally feel soapy or slippery this tactile sensation is a common physical property of bases so when you rub baking soda solution between your fingers what you will feel you will feel soapy or slippery next one does every substance that tastes bitter contain a base explain briefly no not every substance that tastes bitter contains a base for example bitter gourd or karela which tastes bitter but is not basic in nature Name the most common acid found in lemon and tamarind. The most common acid present in lemon is citric acid. Then for tamarind the most common acid is tartaric acid. Then how red rose petals can be used to make the indicator extract? You can use red rose petals as indicator. How you will make this indicator? the petals are collected washed crushed using a mortar and pestle and placed in a glass tumbler and then hot water is poured over them before being left to sit and then filtered so you collect some red rose petals wash wash them then crush them using a mortar and pestle then place them in a glass tumbler then pour some hot water then keep it for some time and then filter you will get red rose extract what color changes are observed when red rose extract is mixed with the acidic and basic solutions so when you mix red rose extract with acidic and basic solutions what color changes are observed when mixed with an acidic solution like lemon juice the red rose extract is expected to turn a shade of red conversely when mixed with a basic solution like soap solution it is expected to turn a shade of green may some other natural substances besides red roses that can act as acid base indicators some other natural substances that can act as acid base indicators are turmeric then red hibiscus or gudal flower then beetroot purple cabbage then indian blackberry or jamun these substances can act as acid base indicators how does the color of hydrangea flowers relate to the soil they grow in so what about the color of hydrangea flower in relation to the soil the color of hydrangea flowers depends directly on the nature of the soil acidic soil typically produces blue colored flowers whereas basic soil results in pink or red colored flowers so if the soil is acidic then hydrangea flowers will be blue colored if the soil is basic the flowers will be pink or red colored how is turmeric paper prepared for use as a natural indicator to prepare turmeric paper a paste is made by mixing turmeric powder with a little water filter paper is then dipped into this paste until it turns yellow then dried and finally cut into thin strips so to prepare turmeric paper first you have to make a paste by mixing turmeric powder with a little water you can also take fresh turmeric 
then filter paper is then dipped into this paste until it turns yellow then dry it and finally cut it into thin strips what is the main limitation of using turmeric paper as an acid base indicator the main limitation is that turmeric paper can effectively test only basic substances as it shows a color change with them it cannot differentiate between acidic and neutral substances as both will likely not cause a distinct color change so what is the main limitation of using turmeric paper as an acid base indicator it can test only basic substances it cannot differentiate between acidic and neutral substances which type of solution would ashwin have used to write his message on the turmeric coated greeting card ashwin would have used a basic solution to write his message on the turmeric coated paper basic substances react with the turmeric to produce a visible color change making the writing appear on the yellow background what are olfactory indicators olfactory indicators are special substances whose odors change when they are exposed to either acidic or basic medium the next one how are onion strips prepared to test for odor changes to prepare onion strips finely chopped onions are placed in a container with strips of clean cotton cloth or filter paper the container is then tightly closed and left overnight allowing the strips to absorb the onions characteristic odor what happens to the color of the lemon juice solution with the blue litmus when lime water is slowly added initially the lemon juice solution with the blue litmus turns red as lime water is slowly added the color of the solution eventually changes from red back to blue indicating it is no longer acidic next one what is a neutralization reaction a neutralization reaction occurs when an acid solution is mixed with a basic solution in sufficient quantity resulting in a solution that is neither acidic nor basic this reaction produces salt water along with the release of heat so when an acid solution is mixed with a basic solution in sufficient quantity then this will result in a solution that is neither acidic nor basic this is called a neutralization reaction and this reaction will produce salt water and it will also release some heat how is a pain from an ant bite neutralized when an ant bites it injects formic acid into the skin causing stinging pain applying moist baking soda which is a base to the affected area neutralizes the effect of this acid thereby relieving the pain so when an ant bites an acid is injected into the skin that acid is formic acid so applying moist baking soda to the affected area will neutralize the effect of this formic acid what remedy is suggested for soil that has become too acidic for plants to grow well if the soil becomes too acidic it can be treated by adding lime which is a basic substance this helps to neutralize the excess acidity in the soil making it more favorable for plant growth so if the soil is more acidic you can add lime why should acidic factory waste be neutralized before being released into lakes acidic factory waste can be harmful to the fish population and other aquatic life in lakes neutralizing this waste by adding basic substances before its release helps to protect the lakes ecosystem and its 
inhabitants children thanks for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe we will see in the next video thank you